as a fresher, you have two options. Whether to go for the wet lab, whether to go for the dry lab. Now, when you're trying to go for a wet lab, already too much crowd. It's crowded, right? Because for the last 50 years, people have been getting into wet lab and no new companies are coming up in wet lab. So obviously, you can't get in there so easily. But now question is, how do you get into dry lab as a fresher, right? So I'm going to teach you three levels. I'm going to give you three tips, which will just make things simple for you. So agreed that you are a fresher. Remember the most experienced guy also was once upon a time a fresher, right? So don't underestimate your potential, okay? Now, the first layer or the level will be that you have to learn coding. Now, how do you learn coding? Enroll yourself into Coding for Biologist Initiative for Biotechnic or anywhere else also. On YouTube also, you have a lot of free lectures available. For R and Python, these two languages, you have to either self-teach yourself and if you are not able to, you can take help of our experts, okay? So once you've learned the R and Python, then you go for the next level, that is bioinformatics. Now, if in case you don't want to learn coding, that's okay. Coding is something where it will become helpful when you get into the later part, like when you want to develop a software. Even if you don't want to develop a software, then you can skip this level. Then go for the bioinformatics. Now, under bioinformatics, what you will do? Start with basics. Bioinformatics is not a degree, it's a skill, okay? It can be learned, just like how you learn computers, right? So what you will do? You have to learn the skill. You have to learn the softwares and how to use this software on your wet lab data, right? Because you remember, you have to become a bioinformatics data scientist or a data analyst. Correct? So now coming to the next factor, what do you do next? So if I say, okay, you've learned bioinformatics, the 20 plus open source tools which you have, our experts will teach you. Now you do the project, right? So project is not like a course. The course, the instructor will teach you and you're doing. But when it is a project, you are learning on your own. Wherever you fail, then only the instructor comes in as a project guide or a scientist. He'll tell you what you're doing wrong and then you again you are on your own it's kind of autopilot mode so that is where you learn better so you have done the project now the outcome of the project should be always a paper so publish your paper in bioinformatics now comes the next level the third level and that is artificial intelligence and machine learning so you have to learn ai ml because without that a bioinformatician is incomplete so this is a basic which i wanted to share with you today so go ahead enroll yourself in bioinformatics or aiml in drug discovery and biology internships which biotechnica has in collaboration with our swedish partners and then you will become a successful bioinformatician who also has expertise in artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning and then you can apply all of this in wet lab data and you can achieve no one else has ever achieved so go ahead implement this and i wish you all the best take care bye bye